Okay, uh, 7835 minus 1650 Okay, that, and I have TLI pad for you. Okay, I'm ready. TLI. Two two six zero five one seven nine er one zero eight zero 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 five four seven one zero four one six nine er three five five eight seven three five eight one three nine er three two zero three zero two three one nine er Zero four zero. Ejection time four plus zero one plus zero zero. Over. Okay, at DOI two plus two six plus zero five. One seven nine. One zero eight. Zero zero zero. Five plus four seven. One zero four one six nine er three five five eight seven three five eight one three nine er three two zero three zero two three one nine er zero four zero and ejection time uh, four plus zero one plus zero zero. Roger, Fred. Read, read back correct, and we're getting a uh, nice color TV picture now. If you have any commentary to go with it. Okay, Joe, uh, hey, I'm just uh, trying to figure out where we are here. That's your job, not mine. Well, I, I must, you know, I've just been up out of the LED for a short time here. I'm trying to find out whether, which country we're over. I have to keep telling Jack that the blue stuff down there is water. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, you're in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, Joe, it looks like that uh, we're, we've crossed out into the Gulf of Mexico here. And uh, the peninsula or an island is down there. I don't know whether you can see it. Thirteen Houston, we got a groovy TV picture. Sounds good.
Uh, is the uh, focus good enough, Joe, that you can see all the uh, glittering uh, debris? Uh, we've seen some debris, Fred. Uh, the uh, booster itself is a little bit bright. What's your F stop? Okay, I'm at uh, 22. Why don't you go up a click and let us have a look at that? Okay, you're at 24. Okay, let's uh, stay there for now, and I assume you're in peak. As you might know, Joe, I got the center seat again. I can't see it. Too bad. I gave the TV monitor. I'm be uh, moving the TV here directly. I'm going to pull out of the sprank and go. 13 Houston, did you call? All right, I'll be moving the uh, TV to uh, get a better shot here. Moving out of the sprank. Uh, okay, Fred. Uh, it's just beginning to cut off at the bottom, but it's still a very good picture.
that's a good picture, Fred. Yeah, we're just about there. About uh, ten, 10 more feet now. Right. Everything looks pretty good down in the S4B to, uh, to shroud the still looks intact down there. Good deal. There's really quite a bit of detail in this picture. Okay, we've, we've got two barber poles. Houston, Roger. You should be able to see down into the uh, portion of the IU right now, Joe. Uh, Fred Houston, uh, we'd like to try going to average on the TV uh, for a minute or so. Hey, you got average and a uh, little uh, yellow dust cap just floated by in front of us. Yeah, we see it top of the screen. And uh, Fred, uh, after a few minutes of this, uh, at your convenience, uh, we could use some interior shots if you get the time and if the lighting is good. Okay. And uh, 13 Houston, the S4B vent times are uh, nominal as in the flight plan within a few seconds. We're hard talk to you. Roger, understand hard talk. Good deal. Uh, Fred, one more thing on the TV. If you could come down to F-22 again. Uh. And uh, Houston, uh, Fred will handle the camera as uh, we go to the post office and check with Okay, Jim, real good.
Okay, uh, Joe, I'm, I'm pointing over toward the uh, track, and it's uh, pretty bright with the earth out that window. Is it sort of washing out the picture here? Uh, no, Fred, it's uh, it's not. We've got a bright spot where the window is. Uh, the rest of you are, uh, are semi-silhouette. It's a pretty impressive picture. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, for Fred, the uh, the IOS has uh, has caught you with the fuel cell reactant valves and latch again. And we have word that the propellant usage for TND was nominal. Okay, well, what is nominal, please? Well, I didn't ask that yet, Jack. Stand by line. <laughs> Fred, this is Houston, over. Uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, with the uh, direct sunlight from the window out of the uh, TV camera field as it is now, uh, we'd like you to open it up in that stop or so, and uh, if convenient, try and keep that bright spot out of the window. Okay. Houston, uh, I guess we think we could stand uh, one more uh, click down on the f-stop. That is, we want you to open it up. Looks like a very interesting book you're reading.
Hey, that's pretty, Fred. Okay, I hope you got more detail than I have on the uh, monitor here. Uh, no, we probably don't, but it's kind of a neat picture anyway. Okay, uh, about all we see on this picture, Fred, are the, uh, the, uh, the bright spots with the lights around the tunnel area. The, uh, the hatch itself is, is pretty dark. Thirteen Houston. By the way, we'd uh, like to know how the uh, high gain antenna lockup worked. Our uh, signal strength uh, is a little bit lower than we thought it would be. Uh, it, it looked uh, it just the way I expected it to, uh, Joe. I uh, had her uh, sit there and uh, react with the numbers uh, cranked in, and uh, as soon as we got uh, pretty much through the rotation, I just threw it down the high gain and it. Uh, Right up. Okay, good deal. See that flashlight beam wandering around there?
Houston, 13. 13 Houston, go ahead. Uh, I'd kind of like to hold off on the uh, start the bidding again uh, until we get the things uh, come back up inside here. Uh, what if you might give us a call uh, when to initiate that? Uh, okay, 13 will do. Okay, 13 Houston, uh, I think we could use uh, an F-stop lower. Uh, what F-stop are you at now? Okay, 13, that's a pretty good picture there. CDR is verifying the docking wind. Okay, the commander reports all docking lands and plans. Houston, Roger.
13 Houston, for your information, the F4B, that is proceeding on schedule. Okay, uh, Joe. Yeah, Joe, that, uh, that's uh, concurrent with all the thousands of particles that the uh, going by outside. Yeah. yeah, I guess I didn't need to tell you. Thirteen looks like Jim is uh, connecting the umbilical at this time. Is that right? Yeah, that's from, uh, from Joe. Do you have any uh, detail up in there at all on the monitor? It looks like I can uh, I can take out the uh, probe and drogue a little bit, uh, but not much else. We can see the probe pretty well, and we can see his hands uh, quite well there. Okay, we're powering the left now, Joe. Okay, roger that. And the voltage looks good there, uh, 13. Okay, we're going to take a nap that view now out the uh, 
That's that, Joe. Okay, Fred, real good. Okay, uh, you making that picture out there, Joe? Yeah, is that the world? Okay, Fred, uh, that's a, uh, a pretty nice looking picture. I'd like to know what settings you use to get that. Okay, I think uh, Jim's holding it now. And, uh, Yeah. Okay, it should be at about F-22, uh, infinity, and I think the 50 millimeter. And, uh, Jim, uh, says he, uh, thinks he hit Baja in the picture now. Okay, I think we could stand to go to F-44 on that. Clouds are pretty bright. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to press on here, Joe, so we're back inside. Okay, thanks a lot.
Hey, at that uh, picture looking back up that now, Joe, getting ready for uh, the next direction. Okay, that looks pretty good, Fred. Uh, Houston, this is uh, 13, and we have a go for power one. 13, Houston, affirmative, your go for power one. Okay, 13 Houston, uh, your go for LEMSEP uh, whenever you're ready.
Okay, we're about ready to um, pull a limb out, Joe. Okay, 13. There she comes. Okay, it looks like we're, uh, we're clear, Joe. Okay, uh, looks good. It's weird because we get the TV about 10 seconds after you call it. Apollo 13, Houston. Go ahead. Okay, uh, we'll be waiting for you to uh, tell us that uh, you feel you're safely clear of the booster and, and uh, give us a go to command the booster in its yaw maneuver. Okay, I can uh, I can see the S4B now at the hatch window, and it's okay, going Jim. Out. Suddenly, we have a uh, very good picture. Okay.
and uh, Houston, uh, I can see the gold shroud around the IU. It looks like it's all intact. Uh, Roger, Jim, we copy that. Uh, incidentally, the uh, APS evasive maneuver will be about four minutes late. It'll be at about 04 plus 18. Roger. Houston, wonder if you could zoom in on that S4B for us a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, more like that. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Okay. 
and 13 Houston uh, will be commanding the evasive maneuver in about uh, 17 seconds. Okay, Jack, uh, it's coming in and it's right in the center of our screen. Okay, Vance, uh, uh, can you, uh, make your guess what that might be, uh, Vance? Better than Charlie? I don't want to start flipping coins at this point. Okay, Vance, we're pointed. Uh, just a little ways off from looking directly at the moon, uh, Jim is holding the camera through window three. The sun is coming at about uh, 40 degrees off our left side. And what uh, we're going to show you in just a minute is uh, about 30 seconds of wastewater dump to just show you just what it looks like. It's uh, really fantastic. Okay. We'd like to see that.
Yeah, we saw uh, some droplets uh, speeding out for a little while, Jack. Now we don't see anything. Actually, uh, Vance, what you're looking at is uh, solid uh, water droplets coming out just about uh, all the time. It lights up the whole uh, sky around the moon. Uh, it's just probably too fine for you to see. Now I think they come out a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, we see those. Fido says he can understand why that would perturbate a trajectory now. It's amazing watching these uh, little frozen droplets maneuver. Uh, they seem to go in all directions. But finally, after they get out a certain way, settle down, and they all seem to be traveling in about the same direction. Right, that's uh, coming in real well. We shouldn't leave it there too long.
could see when you went back to peak. Okay, we can see you zoom in on the, the moon, and it's uh, near the center of our screen, just a little to the left. Very clear. I don't know if you can uh, make out the pieces there, man, but it uh, looks like the Terminator is uh, the uh, central uh, plane there is somewhere around uh, Descartes, maybe. Okay, we're, we see it just as a, a bright uh, portion of the lunar disk, and uh, it looks a lot like you see it from Earth, uh, very bright. We're unable to see any features at all.
Alan, a few minutes ma'am, I guess we'll uh, see how about the only uh, system we hit and uh, used yet uh, works. Everything else sure has worked uh, mighty fine. Right, spacecraft's really working nicely. Okay, we're picking up uh, panel two now. Still a little bit of the checklist. Mission timer showing up as a uh, brilliant green in the upper left-hand part of the picture. Uh, Roger. I got the camera kind of canted on you, man. Vance, uh, Jeff's going to go to box. Roger. Uh, read your line. How do you read the CMP on Jack, read you loud and clear. Okay, fine. We're showing minus eight and a half minutes. Roger, Houston copies. Uh, 
we can see your uh, fuel and oxidizer gauges and hydrogen and oxygen gauges at the top of the picture and the pugs, but it isn't coming in in focus too well. It's a little dim. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm about two feet that that's what happened before. Uh, we understand that's the panel right in front of your face. Okay, uh, we're standing by for the uh, main motor. Okay. okay, we're minus seven minutes. Roger. Focus is good. 